So you've likely heard us say that what's old is new again, and it happens in fashion, music, and now we're seeing it in the craft cocktail movement. Yeah, drinks like Manhattans that were popular back in the day maybe never went away at all, but we just mm -hmm. didn't hear about them that much or making a comeback. That's right? right. And creating them has become competitive. So, to learn more about the history of the Manhattan and the new competition, we are joined by Shane Bang, president of the United States Bar Bartenders Guild, Michigan chapter, and Megan Egan, the Brown Foreman State Manager. Of Michigan. So both are here thanks to our partners at uh, Metro Detroit Chevy Dealers. Thanks for being thanks, here. Guys. Thanks for having So us. this is a drink that I think a lot of people have heard about. Right. Maybe never ever tasted in their life and now it's something that's making a comeback. Is mm -hmm. that right? Absolutely. Uh, you know the craft cocktail scene especially here in Detroit yeah. um, has been really good about you know bringing back some of these old school recipes and uh, you know delighting customers all around. So. Right. Yeah. yeah. So what so are, what are you going to make today? I'm going to do a Manhattan for you guys. Nice. Okay. Um, this is all uh, coming up. We have the Woodford Manhattan Experience this mm. Monday. So we're going to do a classic Manhattan today. Um, you want to start with uh, two ounces of bourbon. Mm -hmm. So this is a classic Manhattan recipe made in uh, New York, usually about the 1980s is when they say, or 1880s, uh -huh. I apologize. Yeah. Uh, 1880s. Rumor was that Jenny Jerome, Sir Winston Churchill's mom, uh, Asked for the recipe to be made for a party she had at the Manhattan Cocktail Club, oh. but oh, just a rumor, though. Yeah, it was, yeah, history says she was in England, pregnant with Winston Churchill at the time. So no one quite knows for sure, but we're just happy that someone created it and it's yeah. coming back. <laughs> so she was pregnant at the time. Rumor has it. Rumor when she has asked it. For yep. So it may may have come from a different source. So what else did you just drop in there, Shane? You just so I did a couple a, other things. Yeah, I did an ounce of Carpano Antica Vermouth. Okay. Just any sweet vermouth will do. And then I did a couple dashes of bitters. You can use um, the Woodford Spiced Cherry Bitters is what's going in here. Spiced okay. Cherry Bitters. So when you make a Manhattan, you want to stir it, not shake it. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to give it a nice dilution, and you're not going to bruise the alcohol by shaking it. Bruise the alcohol. I've never yeah. heard that. <laughs> what, what would that actually mean? You you're, you're aerating the, the, the spirit when you shake it. So if oh. you have citrus, you want to aerate citrus, but you don't want to necessarily oh, aerate the spirit. Okay. I'm going to so. be so fancy next time I'm somewhere. Like, please yeah, don't yeah. the spirit. Thank you. Thank Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> and the classic <laughs> recipe that you've just made now, yes. is there anybody else that does a twist on this? Because if there's a big competition that you're going to go to, that means people are doing other things, right? right? Correct. Um, the, you can do lots of different variations. Yeah. Uh, you know, simply switch out vermouth for maybe a fortified wine or a different uh, oh, kind, of, kind of additive. You can make your own bitters. You can switch out the bitter profile. You can do maybe a spirit split where you do half bourbon, half fry, something like that, where mm -hmm. you kind of like give a little bit more spicy notes or a little bit more sweetness to it. So we, what do you like? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> what do you like? Because you're, you're the boss here. This is, this is my Manhattan. This is okay. the one. If I'm is working in Manhattan, this is what I want every single time. I want, you know, bourbon. I want bitters and I want vermouth. That's it. You know. And let's talk about these cherries. I was going to reach for those. Megan, excuse <laughs> yeah, me for yeah. cutting in front of you. I've got to show these. Can we? I don't know that it Matt, on a tight shot if that will show up with all the brown and the dark colors. This is different than a maraschino cherry that you know somebody just ran through a, a dye machine. Right. These right. are from Italy. Is yep. That these the are idea? these oh, are you know, Italian. I'm keep Lexar. this one. Keep Sorry, enjoy it. Because you know, for us for us big guys who still like kitty cocktails, yes. you know, yes. it's a good one. They, yeah, they're uh, you know they're a lot a lot more organic. They're not as processed as the regular maraschino cherry that you're going to find, but yep. these you can get at most, you know, boutique kind of grocers. Yes. You can get the Luxardo okay. cherries. And they're oh. worth the extra little cost. Just Tell us about Absolutely. the event. The event Monday night, it'll be six local finalists will be competing for a chance to go on to the next um, event, which will be in yep. Louisville, mm -hmm. Versailles, Kentucky, where our distillery is. Awesome. Nice. So Monday night, we're going to have three judges. Shane, president of the USBG, will be one of our judges, and they'll be selected to go on from there. Awesome. Good stuff. Great. All right. So for more information, we have a link on our Live in the D webpage at clickondetroit.com. We'll, we'll be, be right, right back. back.